Reasons why Rwanda is one of the fastest growing economies in all of Africa. Rwanda is a country located in Central Africa. It borders Burundi, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Tanzania, and Uganda. Rwanda is landlocked other than its western border of Lake Kivu. According to the African Development Banks, Rwanda's economy is the fastest growing in Africa. In 1994, the world looked on helplessly as Rwanda seemed set on destroying itself. The Hulu ethnic group of Rwanda went on a killing spree of the minority Tutsi tribe. In just 100 days, over 800,000 people were killed. It was one of the bloodiest conflicts in recent history. Many feared Rwanda would never recover. Well, it did. Fast forward three decades later and Rwanda is Africa's fastest growing economy. The country has left its violent past behind it and has quickly transformed into one of Africa's most promising destinations. In this video, we will be looking at some of the reasons why Rwanda is fast rising but first, if you're new here, welcome, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Visionary Leadership Rwanda's high growth resulted when the government turned around its economy after the 1994 genocide. The genocide destroyed the country and made Rwandan country dwellers' lives difficult. However, President Paul Kagame helped rebuild the economy and its political structure after the genocide. During the period of high growth starting in the early 2000s, Poverty declined from 57% in 2003 to 39% by 2014. Through Kagame's leadership, the economy experienced steady growth since the early 2000s. The private business sector also saw improvements during this period. In 2019, the World Bank Doing Business Index ranked Rwanda as 29th in the list of easiest places to do business. Rwanda was the only low-income country to rank in the top 30, ranking above France, Russia and Spain. Paul Kagame also virtually eradicated major corruption and Rwanda ranks on par with the Czech Republic and better than Italy and Greece in terms of corruption. Institutional Reforms Another significant trend of Rwanda's success has been a focus on institutional reform after the genocide. The government of Rwanda has focused on growing administrative capacity, implementing reforms and removing barriers to business. It has established institutions for the promotion of various economic sectors and exports housed under the Rwandan Development Board. Due to its framework for development, Vision 2050, all reforms are deeply embedded within Rwanda's concept of development to transform itself into a knowledge-based upper-middle income country by 2035 and into a high-income country by 2050. From 1995 to 2019, Rwanda's annual per capita growth rate averaged 6%, becoming one of the fastest-growing economies in the world. Among its key achievements is Rwanda's designation among the countries with the ease to do business in Africa. The 2011 Ibrahim Index of African Governance ranked Rwanda fifth overall and first among 12 countries in East Africa on measures of quality of the business environment and of public management. Population Dynamics Rwanda is also seeing a demographic shift with a moderation in population growth. The country's average fertility rate has declined from 8 children per woman in the 1980s to 5 children per woman in the 2000s. People are increasingly leaving the countryside and moving to cities. The share of population living in urban areas has risen from 5% in 1990 to 19% in 2011. The least urbanized country among its neighbors in 1990, Rwanda now ranks ahead of Burundi and Uganda. Kigali has grown in size from roughly 250,000 inhabitants in 1994 to close to 1.2 million in 2022. While such rapid urbanization brings about certain challenges, it is suggestive of a process of modernization. Improvement in the agricultural sector Another evidence of Rwanda's emerging economic transformation is the significant shift with respect to productivity in the agricultural sector. Agriculture is breaking out of its long-standing stagnation and there is incipient structural shift in the mode of productivity away from low productivity subsistence farming to a higher degree of market orientation and more use of soil enriching and yielding enhancing cash inputs. Such a transformation is fundamental for a dynamic and sustainable development and economic transformation. However, it needs to be implemented and complemented with specific measures to reverse the trend of environmental degradation and depletion of the natural resources base. The pace of agricultural transformation is important as will measures to ensure that not only the large and medium-sized farms but also smallholders are being able to take part in and benefit from this structural change. Substantial increases in production and yields in recent years are evidence of the high dividends of the structural change. It should be noted that agriculture is the main economic activity in Rwanda, with 70% of the population engaged in the sector and around 72% of the working population employed in agriculture. Ease of doing business 
Rwanda remains productive in the ease of doing business in Africa. According to the 2020 World Bank Doing Business Report, Rwanda came second on the easiest place to do business in Africa and 38th globally. The World Bank assessed 190 countries using 10 indicators in business regulations. This includes starting a business, dealing with construction permits, getting electricity, registering property, getting credit, protecting minority investors, paying taxes, trading across borders, enforcing contracts, and resolving insolvency. Rwanda ranked second in Africa after Mauritius and maintained first position in the East African community. Rwanda is also the low-income country in the top 50 according to 2020 report. Rwandan GDP grew 9.5% in 2019 before declining to 3.4% in 2020 due to the global COVID-19 pandemic, the first recession since 1994. In late 2020 and early 2021, the government of Rwanda took significant policy reforms intended to return the economy to growth, improve Rwanda's competitiveness in selected strategic growth sectors, increase foreign direct investments and attract foreign companies to operate in the newly created Kigali International Financial Center. In February 2021, the government amended the Law on Investment Promotion and Facilitation, the Law on Anti-Money Laundering and Counter-Terrorism Financing, and the Company Act. The government passed a new law governing partnerships and the law governing mutual legal assistance in criminal matters. The Rwanda Financial Intelligence Center was also created to curb money laundering and terrorism finance. The new investment code includes equal treatment for both foreigners and nationals in certain operations, free transfer of funds, and compensation against expropriation. Infrastructure Rwanda understands the importance of infrastructure in the development of a competitive private sector. To this end, the government continues to invest heavily in infrastructure. Almost a tenth of Rwanda's annual budget is committed to transport and other infrastructure. To develop a vibrant private sector, Rwanda is investing in roads, rail, and water transport infrastructure with the intent of dramatically reducing the cost of transport to business and individuals. Investments in the non-residential sector will be maintained by the development of the country's first vaccine production facility as well as export-oriented agribusiness and coal-tan refining projects. After 2022, we expect the initiation of the standard gauge railway connection to Tanzania and a number of smaller-scale non-residential projects to support the sector. We forecast annual average growth in construction industry, the value of 9.2% between 2022 and 2031, with growth rates slowing towards the end of the decade as the industry matures. Rwanda's construction industry will continue to expand over the coming decade as public and private investments for infrastructure projects remains forthcoming, supported by the government's transparent operating environment. Investments will be focused on the power, transport and ICT infrastructure sectors as the government seeks to transform Rwanda into a knowledge-based economy. Social Context Rwanda's strong economic growth was accompanied by substantial improvements in living standards with a two-thirds drop in child mortality and near-universal primary school enrollment. A strong focus on homegrown policies and initiatives has contributed to significant improvements in access to services and human development indicators. Measured by the National Poverty Line, poverty declined from 77% in 2001 to 55% in 2017, while life expectancy at birth improved from 29 in the mid-1990s to 69 in 2019. The maternal mortality ratio has fallen from 1,270 to 100,000 live births in the 1990s to 290 in 2019. The official inequality measure, the Gini Index, declined from 0.52 in 2006 to 0.43 in 2017. All in all, the social context has gratefully contributed in Rwanda becoming the fastest growing economy in Africa. Foreign aids Since the end of the genocide, Rwanda has received extensive foreign aid, with nearly 50% of its 2019 2020 budget coming from domestic and foreign borrowing. The US has continually aided Rwanda financially since 1964 in supporting the Rwandan government, received on the condition that it cracked down corruption within the country. Rwanda has also developed regional trade links with the countries it shares borders with, which is especially important due to it being a landlocked country. To improve its ability to trade effectively, Rwanda is currently reinforcing its relations with the DRC, as affirmed by academic Jonathan Belof, who told World Finance that political and security relations between the two nations have improved by leaps and bounds, with an eye towards economic integration. Another strong financial supporter of Rwanda has been the World Bank, which has committed over $4 billion to the country since the genocide ended. Conclusion 
Like many African countries, Rwanda is certainly not a perfect democracy, but it has been making remarkable economic and social progress. The country is in much better shape today than most other post-conflict countries. The government of President Kagame is determined to improve the people's economic lot in order to stabilize peace. The president is very popular and Rwandans often reiterate that they support him. Long-term success is not guaranteed, but so far, the results are impressive and Rwanda is fast growing. Thanks for watching and if there are any other reasons for Rwanda's success that we left out, please drop it in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and also share it with your friends.